you're planning a candle at dinner for two over the next few days, then you're in luck this morning. Our very own Saint Valentine, Charlo, is a chef at the Martello, joins us. Good morning, Charlo. Good morning. How are you doing, folks? How are you, Mia Flower? Well, it's great to be here in the studio. It's fantastic. Uh, it's always great to have you with us. Cooking up a fantastic dish for Valentine's. Perfect for Valentine's night. But why is it perfect? I'm going to, conf I'm going to convince no, you now, It's Laura, not perfect. Okay? So, first thing we're going to do, stay with me with this. Stay with me, OK? We um, have um, your fill of the beef, OK? That's the start of the show, OK? Fill of the beef. We're going to wrap the fill of the beef parma ham. Um, first of all, we're going to make a filling. So, Simon, yes, sir. you're going to add in a little bit of uh, thyme and garlic into some mixed mushrooms here. Do you want Please, yeah, thank you. It's about time you did some work. Hey, hey! <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, I'll just keep rolling with them. Yeah. So yeah. this beef, if you brine it, you've well, got yeah, it. Yeah, just right seal here. it. And the, and the trick to this dish is to make sure... That's it, Simon. That's oh, perfect, yeah, that's perfect. OK. Well, we, that's enough for Thank you. That looks delicious. Yeah. What's up? That? That's a duck cell. This is called a duck cell mixer. I'll just take that off, you know, Simon. Take the lid off, please. And the trick to this dish is to have all your ingredients really, really as dry as you can get them, OK? So pop them in there, Simon. That's dry, it. Okay. Yeah. OK? So we're putting that into a dry pan. So that's your mushrooms, your garlic and your thyme. And we're going to let that simmer here now. And that's going to cook out. And what it's going to do is going to evaporate. There's a lot of water content in mushrooms. Okay. So it's going to evaporate all the water content out. And then you're left with a nice sort of a paste. Mm. OK? It looks so, like a bit like a tapenade. Yeah, it's, it's like a tapenade. But it's also, it's, it sort of resembles a pate as well. Mm -hmm. And a pate is good in this as well. So what I have is a couple of sheets of parma ham. OK? And we're just going to just spread this over. So you've just laid down some cling film, rolled out, laid exactly, out some parma yeah, ham. Exactly, yeah. And put the so we put down a couple of sheets of cling film. We're going to roll this like a Swiss roll. That's the whole idea. Then we're going to encase it in puff pastry. So the trick with the, with the f beef fillet is to make sure you seal all around. And what that does, it locks in all the flavours, OK? And while it's hot, you take it off the pan, you season it up. And then we're going to just add a little bit of heat to the, to the oh, beef Charlie. fillet, OK? And we're going to just give it a nice little basting with some mustard. Now this is Dijon mustard and you know what's great is horseradish sauce is very good or English mustard, whatever, you, whatever tickets Can you fancy. Can I ask you a question, Charlie? Yeah, go um, for it. I wouldn't be, I'd, I like beef but it wouldn't be my uh, protein of choice. Could you do it with a fillet of lamb, same uh, process? Fillet of lamb is fine, yeah. Just to be like to turn down the oven a little bit. We've preheated our oven at 180, okay? Mm -hmm. 360 Fahrenheit. So you've got to just turn down your oven a little bit more because obviously it takes a little bit longer to cook. Okay. And just to reiterate that you, you've literally popped that on the pan and you're sealing it just to keep in the flavour, but it's not exactly. cooked as such. It's not cooked. The trick is we're just sealing it. This is not cooked. It has to go into the oven then to cook. Now, what we're going to carefully do here is we're going to carefully, as you can see that... Yeah, yeah I'm used and we're to, going to roll, these things. We're going to roll this. Keep it nice and tight. The way he has it set up, it's perfect. You know, yeah. it's kind of... With the cling film, you mean? Yeah, yeah exactly. Tuck, tuck in the ends, OK? Tuck, tuck, fold. Yeah, tuck, tuck, fold. Fans of multiplicity, the film of... And then we're going to transfer this onto our, our, onto tuck, our puff tuck, pastry. No. I'm well I lost you, didn't I? Transfer this onto our puff pastry. Now, as you can Shop see... Shop puff pastry. As you can see, our mixture is... Uh, the water is drying out, yeah. yeah. And it's important to put, add this on cold. Everything is sort of so cold, Charles, OK? that's just shop pot. Shop pot pastry. pastry. Yeah, yeah, exactly, okay, yeah, so. OK? Couldn't be any easier. So yeah. what we're going to do now is we're going to just roll this. How big is that beef, by the way, and how many would that feed? <sighs> this would feed probably three or four people, OK? But, okay. you know, we want to go as big as we can on Valentine's night yeah. just to make sure that, you know, everyone's happy, OK? Yeah. So we're just going to roll this... How many people are going to be there on Valentine's night? Two people. Oh, two. two. Yeah. Yeah. portions. Yeah. Well... Now, when, when, when the pastry meets the, the bottom of the other pastry, when you roll it, you just trim that off, OK? Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to twist it here. OK? And again, trim that off, all right? Like a little Christmas bag. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And then we're going to twist it here, trim that off, OK? And then we egg wash it, OK? A little bit of egg washing. This just gives a nice little colour. Mm. Helps in the, in the colour. Get your bacon tray. And depending on the size of the beef, then, Charlie, how long should you cook it for? Like we look at 40 minutes. We'll give you a sort of a medium, medium rare. And then if you want to go more, obviously. Yeah. You go, you 50 minutes? To, 50 minutes will give you sort of a medium to medium well, OK? okay. Now, a little chef trick there. You can put a few little designs on it, OK? Like a smiley right. face, or...? Yeah, you can put a smiley, like a smiley face, face. Yeah. yeah, do a few emojis. <laughs> we, yeah. can do, we can do a little love heart emoji. here, OK? Ah, uh, look, you see? Love heart. Okay. Yeah, there'd be a bit of artwork involved. Yeah, Lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. you can just pop them on top like so. It's actually and quite an easy the, dish. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And you can do this the day before. Pop this in the oven. You can do this the day before and um, have it in the fridge wrapped in your cling film. 
with so the perfect. pastry on. It's not going to go soggy. With the, with the pastry yeah. on, yeah, and then you just egg wash it just at the last minute. Oh. So, voila, we have one here. <laughs> <when we're done. laughs> Come okay. on, wow. Now, I'm going to get this. So, what uh, I'm going to serve this with. Out of my way, because it's I'll in just... between me and the beef. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, we're going to serve this with a little bit of fondant potato, sweet potato <laughs> fondant. So, what I've done is I've just got a fondant, peel it, and just shaped it a little bit. So, it's just for his and hers, okay? Okay. We're going to add a little bit of garlic and a spring of uh, uh, thyme. And then also, I mean, you can pour in some melted butter. Now, listen, it's not the healthiest dish, but this is the way to go with sweet potato. It's Valentine's fondant, Day, okay? Charlotte. It's once exactly. a year, you know. Yeah. So what I have done here a is... A little bit of butter, look. Yeah. Mother of, of butter. Divine. There's an awful lot in there now, Charlie. Yeah. Um, put your uh, a tinfoil lid on top, Simon. Yeah, sure. Again, that goes in the same time as your beef. Okay. So that's your, that's your uh, carb sorted, OK? And that's what it looks like when it comes out after 40 minutes, nice and tender. I don't you just think stick it took the knife that into that, Simon, you'll see how, how, what I'm talking about. Sweet potato doesn't oh. take that long, does it? Yeah. Yes, it does. Yeah. Nice and soft. Yeah. So just a little serving suggestion, OK? Nice soft. We're just going to put a little drop of this that's here. That's cooked, okay. as they say in the trade. A little bit of spinach. Oh, lovely. OK. I'd be well impressed with some of the surface yeah. how, how simple is this to do? Now, here's, yeah. the, here's Can I just the, say, the only romantic thing about it is the heart on the top. <laughs> oh, Simon, come on. Oh, still hearty. Oh, she's she's a, I'll tell you what, she's a tough audience. Isn't she? Yeah, very the tough The only romantic thing about yeah. it, if your husband cooked this for you, start to finish, no, presented it on a plate and went, Happy like Valentine's, my darling. Yeah. You go, don't make him a dad the heart on the top of the plate. <laughs> <laughs> and then there'd be no trouble. You don't really love me at all. There'd be no trouble. The effort. <laughs> okay, so two nice pieces, two nice slices, average. okay? Oh, that looks look, look, at your, look at your fill in there, okay? So what we're going to do is... It's drizzle. very rare, though. I mean, it's, it's still moving. very rare, yeah. But what you can do there is the whole thing about it is resting it as well. Now, oh, yeah. bring it on again. That was 40 minutes in the oven, okay? So you want to bring it on medium uh, medium or medium well. Let us say 10 minutes with you, Laura, okay? Oh, great. Now, what we've got is we want to just drizzle with a little bit of you. Or kill okay? for time, Charlie. No problem, no problem. Just about made it, right? Oh, that you did, yeah. indeed. Oh. That is a superb plate of food. Laura doesn't Happy. want any because she doesn't think it's romantic enough. I'll have Happy a Valentine's. Did, did I convince you? You did. did you I? could cook Laura. for me any time, Charlotte. <laughs>